Hello, I'm Zach Rye with Old Man Gaming. With me is... Yo, what's up, Old Man Fan Phil Billy 330 here. We are on a very special day today. We are going to go over the PC that we are about to build with you guys. We're going to show you that two noobs that know nothing can do it, and if we can do it, so can you. And, and really, if we can do it, Anyone can do it. Like, literally anyone can do it. Like, mentally handicapped people <laughs> can do it, I think. Okay. So, welcome to the basement. Let's get into it. We're going to go over each piece with you guys, piece by piece. Phil Billy, this is Phil Billy's build. I'm playing kind of assistant today. Um, so, I'm going to pick up the pieces. He's going to tell you what it is. I'm going to do the Vanna White thing. So, for CPU, we went with the Ryzen 3600. Um, for the price, it's one of the uh, better CPUs you can get. Next up, uh, we went with the power spec um, uh, power source. Uh, it's a 650 watt, 80 plus bronze rated. And those are just uh, some auxiliary fans I bought just to keep the system a little cooler. We the case is over there. We'll, you guys will see it later. But we went with the uh, the um, ma uh, cooler master. Sorry. And it comes with two front-facing fans, but I just wanted some uh, exhaust fans on there, so. Motherboard, we went with the MSI B450M Pro VDH Max. Pro means good, everybody. <laughs> Pro means good. Uh, we went with a 16 gigabyte RAM kit, um, DDR3200. DDR, not Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> we, and then... Uh, our memory is an M.2 SSD 512 gig for now. I'm sure in the future I'll be putting like a 1 or 2 terabyte, uh, you know, just regular hard drive in there. And then the graphics card is a Radeon 5600 XT by Gigabyte. Uh, pretty high end, well, I, you know, for the price point of this build, this will uh, do exactly what we need it to do as far as frames per second looks like an eye because you can see good with it <laughs> but yeah so these are the main components going into the build uh, obviously we got mouse keyboard we got a 25 uh, yeah 24 inch monitor over there uh, 144 hertz um, this whole build uh, including the peripherals was about 1050 bucks the actual PC build itself is somewhere I'd have to crunch the numbers, but it's somewhere right around like 800 to 850 is what we got in the actual PC build. First of all, I want to say I really want to do everything behind a bar. For now. <laughs> I just love that I have a place to put my hands. Number two, uh, yeah, we're going to, just so that you guys know, we're not going to show you this minute for minute because it could take us like two hours. We've never done this before. So what we're going to do is we're going to 4x speed it probably from here on out until we get to the end in an outro. Uh, so we'll be moving around like super fast, but you'll still be able to see what we're doing just so that you guys don't have to sit there for two hours. And if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to ask in the comments. Also, uh, just so you know, I'll, you'll catch me looking at my phone. I am literally, as I said, a noob. We are learning this as we go, so I am literally watching some YouTube videos probably or, you know, reading step by step how to do it. Like I have the general, you know, idea. I've obviously researched it, but uh, I want to be super careful because it's, you know, money invested. I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm doing this just like you guys probably would be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's, and that's one of the biggest points of the video that Phil really wants to show everybody, which is... Anybody can build a PC, so if you're afraid of the next generation, you haven't upgraded everything that you need to upgrade, uh, you're worried about the price, PC's the way to go, and we're going to show you that anybody, anybody can build a PC. Yeah, so we will uh, meet you guys at the workbench. We got, our, um, we got our Phillips head screwdriver set out. I got a little case to put some miscellaneous screws here and there. We got our zip ties for some cable management. And, yeah, we'll get right into it. Yeah, let's do it.
it's a big city feel Blue polos and steel toed shoes Getting plastered out here in booze Oh yeah Propositions at every turn Seems like we in trouble Big city rock song Get me rocking all night long Hit the bank, we just got paid At the bars, now we got it made City rock song, keep them coming all night long. Great liquor, karaoke bars, drag shows on the neon stars. Headed down to the strip, waters till we think I'll have a dip. Hot sun and hurricanes, feel lucky tonight. Black parties with Jaeger and Sky. We got it made Big city rock song Keep them coming all night long Great liquor karaoke bars Drag shows on the neon stars Big city rock song Keep me rocking all night long Hit the bank, we just got paid At the bars, now we got it made Big city rock song Keep them coming all night long Great liquor karaoke bars Drag shows on the neon stars Your words don't mean a thing 
take. Mm. So. Well, it says up here. That's the brand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they name that the brand? Deep down at the bottom of the dark inside your head Were you giving up? So what was there to fear? As if make-believing could make things crystal clear I'm not giving up We're not As if just pretending could help to get me through Still not owning up When I'm going down You are always there When I'm So many options, so little time It's 
a big city feel Blue polos and steel toed shoes Getting plastered out beer and booze Oh yeah Propositions that it We got it made Big city rock song Keep them coming all night long Great liquor karaoke bars Drag shows on the neon stars Headed down to the strip Waters till we think I'll have a dip Hot sun and hurricanes Feel lucky tonight Black parties with gay So, this is it, right? We are yeah. about to turn it on, right? That's a moment of truth, guys. So, this should... Oh. <laughs> Rough start. Got to turn the power supply on. Got to turn the switch on. <laughs> So, we had to flip a breaker. Uh, that was a little bit fun. Yeah. So, the moment of truth. Think now. Oh, we got lights. There it comes. We got definitely lights. We got the CPU, the CPU fans going. Spinning. These ones aren't yet, but is that just... Hmm. Yeah, those fans aren't working. None of the fans are well, working. Well, those... I'm just going to start going over what we have done for take three here while Phil Billy puts it back together one more time. So, uh, we figured out what happened the first time. Uh, we think. We think. And the second time. Basically, we did not have a breaker switched on to the actual uh, uh, outlet that we were using for the win. Uh, and then the next time we realized that uh, we were plugging the HDMI's into the wrong thing. We were supposed to be plugging it directly into the graphics card and not the motherboard. So now he is 
uh, making the last minute hookups right now, and then we're going to give Moment of tru uh, Truth Part 3. We think we bo both have both the fans and the HDMI fix. Wow. That got a reaction. What? Um, the monitor actually lit up when you plugged that HDMI in. That's that. a good sign. That's a good sign, I think. <clears throat> All right, we're ready for moment of truth. Take three. All right. All right, everybody. I don't know if this is take four or five, but uh, hours later, <laughs> we are... We are finally think we've got everything fixed. We uh, we had some serious issues with the fans and it messing stuff up, but we think that this is going to be the right moment of truth. And then we'll do a little wrap up um, to talk about our experience. But we are almost ready. I'm just getting all the accessories plugged in. Yeah, you want to make all the thingies glow. If this is indeed the right one, because they're going to see all the other crappy ones. Yeah, we had some... Basically, it was just the fans that were giving us the issue. It really was. It was the fans. The fans really caused us the problems. The fans and what port to use and your breaker. <laughs> the breaker was the funniest one, I think. Yeah, that was the easiest one. Okay, let me make sure the power's on. Here we go, guys. <gasps> Fans are Fans working. working. They're spinning. The lights RGB's are on. going. And then we do have Boost Pro Series. There you go. Cool. So now we're going to uh, download or get the thing booted up, download the um, Windows software, and then we could show you it running. We may not have time today to download games and do that for you, but we can always do a recap at a later date. So we'll be back with you as soon as this actually looks like a computer again. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and 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 we're we're sorry about that. We had definitely planned in this video to show you gaming and stuff like that. We just uh you know, nothing goes as it plans, but I do want to point out it is running and yeah. we are idiots. So that's something <laughs> yeah. right there. It wasn't necessarily that it was hard. It was just we didn't know exactly what the problem was. So Right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go to a wrap up, and then we'll talk about the the overall experience, and then uh, yeah, we'll call it there. Two, one. All right, so we're done. We are. We got uh, Windows installing over there. We just gotta upgrade our uh, drivers, and it'll be good to go. We'll do an update video later um, with some gameplay and stuff. We're just. It took us a little longer with a pro couple problems we ran into. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna see all it takes. We, yeah. uh, we, we failed to realize that there was a breaker, not flipped, yeah. which was fun. Uh, we failed to uh, do the fans correctly like four or five times. Honestly, that was the biggest problem, wasn't it? The fans, in your yeah, opinion? Really, that was yeah. the only real issue we had. To be honest with you, I. Still, I'm not 100% <laughs> clear on what the hell went on. I don't. I, I. I. We kind of figured it out at the end, and it was like I. I don't even like the way we wired it at the end, but it all worked. So yeah, basically, of... we have the fans wired to the power supply, which I read it's fine, but not the motherboard because when we were trying to wire them to the motherboard, right. it was like the whole system wouldn't turn on. Right. Right. But um, all in all. <laughs> It wasn't hard. No. It got a little frustrating at the end with the fan issue. I do I do want to just uh, give one other thing that I want to point out. Uh, you have to actually plug into the graphics card. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the HDMI. We did that. We 
tried to plug it into the motherboard because we're dumb. Right. And we didn't realize that the graphics card had these little like rubber plugs, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was blocking. That were blocking the slots. We actually went to Walmart to get an HDMI cable that didn't even really work yeah, anyway. To find out we didn't need it. <laughs> because we had the digital plug. Uh, but you need to plug directly into the graphics card if yeah. you're doing this kind of build. The other thing I do want to say, a big shout out to Kev Too Tall. Uh, I'm sure you're watching this, and we just want to say help. We, we, we asked him for some help and some advice over the phone uh, when we run into the yeah. fan things, uh, and he was helpful. Thank you, Kevin, yeah, for kind of being on call for us. <laughs> it works, so yeah. I'm happy. But I was about to say, we're both idiots, so you knew something was going to happen, but nonetheless, we built it. Uh, it took us a little bit longer than we wanted it to. Yeah, we probably have been dicking around for <laughs> four we it was just we have, fans we have like fans four hours in it yeah so if you take away the trip to walmart there's three and a half hours and then the fans we probably screwed around with it for a, a good yeah. probably hour yeah so i mean when we do this again like when it comes time for zach's it probably will only take us an hour or yeah, so. Yeah, and now that we know what we're doing a little bit, it definitely will take us less time. So, But we did prove that two idiots <laughs> can build a functioning, somewhat attractive, in my opinion, I think uh, it's PC. I think it's pretty. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. It's two idiots that we built a PC, and uh, uh, I, I think just everybody out there, if you haven't if upgraded to 4K and you're in that situation where you don't know what to do, uh, I think this is the route to go. I think yeah. this is the route to go. I will say you're probably going to need a little bit bigger of a hard drive than than Phil Billy bought. Uh, maybe not to start, but oh yeah, run. yeah, yeah. In the, in the long run, what I plan to do is because um, it it just has a 512 gigabyte. I wanted the uh, M.2, which is way faster than just a regular hard drive, but they're more expensive, obviously. So what I'll end up doing in the future is I'll go get a two or four terabyte regular hard drive which just is really easy to install and that way yeah. uh, you can just if your fast hard drive gets full you know you just move the games that you're not playing it's really easy you just move them over to your big hard drive mm -hmm. as storage and until you need to play yeah, until you need to play them and then you just swap yeah. one over yeah so I think I think that's the only thing that we would say about this build to other people that they might want to get a, a two or four terabyte I mean if you're if you're upgrading for the next generation just because yeah, the download the size gonna is going to be so big uh, because of the 4k but other than that I think this is a this is a really good computer for anybody who needs to upgrade and uh, if you guys have any questions ask us below yeah I we, mean we, we still have questions for ourselves <laughs> yeah, a little bit <laughs> but we could probably help you out um but it could be done, and, and it really wasn't that bad. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so guys, thanks for being with us and uh, sharing with us. And uh, just for plugs, if you guys want to talk to us at, at Facebook at Old Man Gaming DH, on Twitter at Old Man Gaming Nine, please join our Discord. The link is in the description below. You can influence this. Well, not this, but all of our shows from there. Our weekly let's plays, as well as podcasts and other things. And uh, talk to us. We just love to talk to people. We're just very social people. Yeah, and if we got some of you guys who are, like, techier watching this stuff that maybe you haven't watched any of our other stuff, if you like this, check out our other stuff right. that we have. And right. uh, please, we love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe yeah. if you like us and what the channel has to offer. Definitely. Uh, so we'll see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>